Data management refers to the ways in which researchers organise the data gathered, generated and used in the course of a research study. At the most basic level, data management involves thinking carefully about how we handle our data, ensuring that we have access to the data that we have collected and that we are able to retrieve a data set in order to analyse the data. Thinking about the ways we can organise data to ensure that it is in a, in a format that enables ready access means that we can hopefully avoid delays and minimise errors when we come to engage with data for analysis, storage and sharing purposes. Think about it in terms of avoiding getting halfway through the work for your research project or your dissertation and getting frustrated because you can't remember where you put that file or suddenly partially recalling some information but because you didn't record it anywhere you can't remember the precise details. Storage and backup of data is something that you should be concerned with. If you decide to store your data on a hard drive such as an external USB hard drive you should think about how secure these methods of storage are in short they are not and these methods of storage are not recommended at the very basic level you need to be keeping more than one copy of your data for example storing this on different media storing your data on your institution's network such as OneDrive for example, is a good idea, as this is stored securely and remotely and there can therefore be accessed from numerous internet-enabled devices. And this is also backed up. Longer term, beyond the lifespan of your project, you may need to think about storing your data for potential reuse for another future research study, for example. Whilst you may be tempted to destroy the data once you've completed your research study, there is an increasing recognition that data has a life beyond one single research project. As a researcher, it may be worthwhile thinking of yourself as a curator of data, rather than someone who owns the data in your possession. Ask yourself what you owe the research community. Do you owe your participants and others the right for their data to be used in subsequent research? Is the data beneficial beyond your study? Before stating that you will destroy the data, think about your justification for this and consider plans for enabling the sharing of your research data. The issues covered in this presentation can be considered and developed into a data management plan or DMP. DMPs are documents in which the researcher details the ways in which the data g gathered as part of the research project will be managed. This includes how the d data will be collected and stored both in the short and long term. The plan would also detail how the data would be kept secure, achieving the ethical aims of the research. The DMP would also outline how the researcher plans to share the d data, for example with other researchers who may be able to use this d data for future research studies. DMPs aim to make data fair, and this is an acronym for Findable, Accessible, Interoperable, and reusable. These fair guiding principles are discussed in more d detail in Wilkinson et al. listed in the references section. DMPs are often required by f funders and are often also a requirement of institutional research ethics committees. You can access templates for DMPs and store and share your DMP using DMP online, hosted by the Digital Curation Centre. 
A useful source for you to read through in considering data management is the book by Bruini, 2015, also listed in the reference section.